What's up everyone, Kaplow here for another Starfield Basic. Alright guys, let's talk missile launchers when it comes to recharge speed, damage, and volley volume. Um, and what that all means for when evaluating an individual missile launcher. Um, this was at the request of Rourke 3675 Thank you for bringing it up. This became the content for my next video. I greatly appreciate it. And let's get into it. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the Atlatl 270A missile launcher. It does shield damage in 94, hull damage in 94 has a fire rate of one. All the missile launchers have a fire rate of one, it seems. They might have different max power, uh, but they all have the same fire rate. Now, one thing that they don't talk about or show in here anywhere is their volley size. So I believe the 270A has a volley size of six missiles, uh, but we're gonna see as we get closer. So the next one we're gonna do is the 280B. That is gonna be uh, 282 hull damage, 282 shield damage. Uh, it's actually 141, but since I have two of them installed, it just shows the total damage output with the max power of eight, of course. The next is gonna be the CE-09, which hull damage is gonna be uh, 36, and 36 for shield damage, max power of six, same fire rate, uh, but I know the volley size is a little bit different. So let's get into it. All right, so first missile we're going to shoot is the 270A. So let's check it out. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that has a volley of six, and you can see it go down to the top up there. Uh, oh, we need to make sure. One consideration that you should always have when you are shooting missile launchers, the more power there is, the faster they recharge. Uh, it does not change the amount of damage output, and actually, if, say, we drop this energy all the way down to one, you'll still get to keep those missiles, and you basically just have them stored, and you can allocate power other places. However, if you drop this number down to zero, you then empty out all of your missiles there, and so you need to have at least one power to start refilling. We're going to keep it full power for now, but those are important things to keep in mind. All right, so next up is the 280B. Let's check it out. It's going to go one two three four all right and that's all it does and now even though the 270a shot six and the 280b shot four they reload to 100 percent at the same speed so while the 270a has a faster reload speed per rocket to get to the 100 percent of its you know magazine essentially uh it takes the same amount of time all right, so let's check out the last one. Our, that's going to be our CE-09. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and so even though this one shoots more missiles, it's still going to take the same amount of time to reload from zero to 100. You do get more missiles back faster. However, uh, it actually behooves you to take the high damage, low missile count, because if you need to unload on someone, you're able to unload your entire volley faster and start maneuvering again. So if you're in a, a hefty dogfight where you don't have a lot of time to shoot, you actually want to just unload things a little bit quicker, and that's going to allow you to do a lot of damage and get out of there. All right, so next up what we're going to do is we're going to launch four of the CE-09, and then followed by that, we're going to then also start launching the 280Bs. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you saw, I started launching the 280Bs as well. And now we're going to watch both of them recharge. The uh, 280B is on the left and the other one's on the top. So as you can see, it recharges two for every one that the other one charges but it took longer to shoot all of the CE-09s than it did to shoot all the 280Bs. So the 280B is actually gonna be your best bang for your time in the fact that you're going to be able to unload all of it faster than you can with the CE-09. So let's do this in practice and see what happens. All right, so now we're gonna fire the CE-09. We'll see how, much, how little damage it does. There we go. Did a little bit. Now we're gonna shoot him with the 280B. Boom, way more damage. 
So as we can see, the 280B did significantly more damage, and that's going to mean that we can pump out the damage quickly and then skedaddle. Um, and so I think in general, it's going to be better for you to take something with a low uh, volley count and uh, high damage output. However, Bethesda, as you can see right here, does not show you the volley count or how many missiles are in there. Uh, and there's not really a place that I can look at that either. So if we go to the Star Eagle and we, I guess, inspect this, there's no indication that this one has more or less missiles. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to basically just test out a lot of missile launchers to see, you know, the volley speed and volume that you get, uh, and if that's what you want. The volley speed itself is always going to remain the same, and if you have more missiles, it's going to take longer to empty it, but recharging your missiles from 0 to 100 is the exact same speed every time, even if the individual missiles recharge a little bit faster. I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, if it was, give it a like, and if you need anything else, find me when you need me.